Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing a good today. So today I just want to play with some makeup. Someone actually requested me to go back into these palettes. These are the I Heart Revolution Sleeping Beauty palette and the Bow Meringue Chocolate palette, which was featured in one of their gift sets two years ago, I think. I also want to play with this uh, liquid liner as well from Glisten Cosmetics. It says split liner in the shade Raspberry Punch. So I want to do some sort of graphic liner look today, um, but on the wearable side. I don't know how to do all that extravagant stuff. So I have Dr. Seuss on the way. I made an order. So if that's not up, it should be up already now, hopefully, if I've got it up on time. But if it's not, it's coming. If it is up, Link down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's go. So I'm going to my Beauty Base eye primer. I have no idea what kind of look to do. I'm, it's going to be on the pinky side because I've got that pink liner to play with. I ordered some sponges from Shein and these are like so soft. If you've not tried them, they're 79p for two and then like the softest sponges I've ever felt. I still prefer my Ciate. Pig, Miss Piggy sponge, which I actually have made an order because it was on sale. But these Shein ones are good dupe, I'd say. Okay, so I was thinking of wearing some eyeshadow guards. You can get these from Primark. They're like £1.50. They're just these. I like to chop them in half um, just so I can get more use out of them. But I'm just going to basically place these on their outer edge so we've got more of a sharp line. And that could be a good guide for me to use the split liner. Let's begin. Let's recap. This is the Sleeping Beauty palette. Don't use this a lot. More reason why I'm doing this video because I like to go back into my palettes and just go back in time from when I first purchased it. Um, so we've got the Berry Meringue. Now this is such a lovely pink palette. It's probably one of my top pink palettes from I Heart Revolution. Unfortunately, you can't get these separately, which is super annoying. Um, but this came in one of the gift sets that they had. It is such a gorgeous movie palette. It smells nostalgic. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Glossy. Not gonna be very precise with this shade. I just want something to start off with. Get a bit of pink in there. Okay, that is all I'm gonna do for that shade. I've just taken Berry Swirl and I'm just buffing it out on the outer corner. like so and a bit into the crease like that next up i'm going to take a small brush this is a jeffree star gs10 i'm going to go with blackberry the shade here i'm just gonna smoke the edge out just to deepen it this is a really nice a deep movie shade i'm not really using much of the Sleeping Beauty palette, I've just realised. There isn't many light pink, so I'm going to take Sleeping Beauty and I'm just going to blend out the very swirl. So we have got this going on, a nice pinky loop to the mix. For some reason, I want to go with Magnificent right in the inner corner. Yeah, that's too pale. Um, let's not go with the green. Yeah, the Ma Maleficent. Did it say Magnificent? Maleficent shade is just not the one to layer on top of other colours. That shade might work better on its own, but with this look, it's not going to work. I'm going to go into Spal. I'm going to put Spal in the inner corner crease. Take quite a bit, a lot of that. I'm just looking at all the shimmers that Sleeping Beauty have got. And let's see what Berry Meringue have got. We have got Eaten Mess, which is nice. Sugary. Peak. Ooh, ooh, that gold. That gold. Am I even in the mood for that gold? I think I am. I just swatched Peak. I think that gold is going to look gorgeous. Oh, that's also pretty. I could use all three. All right, let's go in all three. I'm gonna put a bit of concealer in the middle. Right, let's go into this gold first. This is from the Berry Meringue palette. I'm just gonna use my finger and I'm gonna place that on one portion of the lid. Ooh, 
Ooh, that is a nice shimmer. It looks nice with this pink as well. Let's go in with Love from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then let's stick Magical right in the inner corner. Magical in the inner corner, like so. How nice is that? I don't know how these are gonna look, so let's reveal. That's not bad, actually. So I'm gonna take this blackberry again, and I'm gonna mm, put that on a little lash line. I'm gonna take my Makeup Revolution Renaissance Black Eyeliner and I'm gonna do a thin wing and then I'm gonna use the split liner from Glisten Cosmetics. Okay, so onto the Glisten Cosmetics split liner. Like I said before, this is in the shade Raspberry Punch. I don't think these are the easiest to work with. They are water activated, so I do like to keep my fixing spray on hand to use. This is just an iHeart Revolution ELF fixing spray primer. Literally, I just spray quite a lot on it because it gets dry dead easy. And then whatever's left, I've got like a towel in front of me. I just wipe the excess off. As for the brush applicator, I'm just using the iHeart Revolution eyeliner tool. This is from one of the calendars from this year, last year confusing so this is what it looks like i'm gonna go with the darkest pink and literally just get as much as i can and then what i like to do because i like it quite thin i will take my finger pinch it this is why i have a towel in front of me just so i'm wiping everything so it's not going everywhere i will put the liner just above the black eyeliner i don't know why i put the black eyeliner first i think it's because I, I want a bit of depth under the pink liner i don't know let's let's go in I'm gonna mix them, mix in the two. I like to do that as well. Just see if I can get some kind of in-between pink shade color. Uh, I'm gonna make my wing quite big. I feel like it does crease a bit on the lid, but I always find myself, I have to keep going in with more sprays. I think it's the way I'm using it. That's why I'm finding it difficult to use. It's I'd say it is one of those to, you need to practice with. Well, I'd certainly do anyway. I did actually mention this in my favourites. I do really like, it's just me. <laughs> I'm not that great using it. Yeah, I still need to practice more with it. Anyway, let's get on with the base. The sun's out, I'm feeling spring and I think it's time to use this primer. This is the iHeart Revolution Watermelon Primer. I've been using my e.l.f. primer a lot. It's probably my favourite primer ever. I use it day in day out. I just needed to mix things up a bit and this is the primer for that. So refreshing on the skin. I've also been using my cheese a lot lately as well. The lip balm. So brow powder, I'm gonna go in my Lottie London Arch Rival brow powder in the shade medium brown. I'm actually gonna order this again from Look Fantastic because um, I found it. I couldn't find it before but you can actually get this from Look Fantastic. By the way, I'll link everything that I've used in the description box below. I really do like this brow powder. I just think this brow powder is good if you've got thin, sparse brows. It's good filling the sparse bits in, which I have a lot. And then I go in with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil shade Taupe. All time favourite brow product. So foundation, I'm gonna go with the PLT. This is in shade Ivory Buff. This is a natural finish foundation. Absolutely love this stuff. Might just spill on me. Um, just going in with the mouse sponge from I Heart Evolution. I feel like this primer works a lot better with the Elf primer. Um, I feel like this primer was a bit too sticky for it. I forgot to mention this in the video, but I've brought a new concealer from Revolution. This is their Eye Bright Illuminated Under Eye Concealer with Vitamin C. I've been really liking this. This is gonna be my March favorites. Uh, I've got it in the shade Fair, but 
yeah i just really like this concealer it's very hydrating under the eye i do get quite dry under the eye so it's one of those concealers that hydrates bronzer i'm gonna go in my pretty little thing put it in the shade light And then my two blushes, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Revolution Super Dewy blush in the shade You Got Me Blushing, which is super nice. Such a gorgeous blushy washy. Oh a bit too much there. Got a bit on my nose, but yeah, it's such such a nice blush. And then over it, I just like to go with something peachy if I'm using a bit of pink. This is the L'Oreal Life's a Peach. Uh, I just like to go over this a bit, give it a bit of a shimmer as well at the same time. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go with the Aristocats. This is the Marie highlighter in the shade Madame. Pretty highlighter. So for powder, I'm gonna go in my Too Faced. This is the Born This Way powder. Which I feel like I'm running out. Oh, I haven't done a brow highlight. Let's go back into the palette. I'll go in the Bone Meringue this time. I'm gonna go Whipped. Let's see what that looks like. I think this is a highlight of sorts though. Where is it? That actually transformed it a bit. Ooh. I'm going to take a bit of Magical again from the Sleeping Beauty palette. Take it on a fluffy brush and just apply it on the brow bone. And then I'm going to use. So I'm going to go into Spell again and just run that through the lower lash line. Okay, so for lips, I do want to use the Mulan Lip Topper. It's been a while since I've done this, and hmm, what else shall I use? Oh, I'm going to use this, actually. This is the P. Louise Privacy Shade. I have used this before. And then in the middle, I'm just going to go with the Mulan Lip Topper from I Heart Revolution. This is such a nice lip topper. Look at that. I love this lip combo. Super glossy this is. And now for mascara, I'm just gonna go with the Benefit of Better Than Sex. So guys, here is the completed eye look using Sleeping Beauty and Berry Barang and the Glisten Cosmetics eyeliner. Um, yeah, you know my thoughts on the eyeliner. I just find it a bit difficult to use. I still need to practice with it. Um, still like it though, it's a nice colour. I wish I've done a lighter eyeshadow base though, I feel like it would stand out more. But yeah, these palettes, um, I still haven't changed my mind about them. Uh, I still think Sleeping Beauty is one of my favourite Disney palettes with the Aristocats. I just love the colour story of this. I know there's some not really great shades in here, like the Maleficent shade. I don't think that is good for layering. It might be, like I said, could be better on its own. There is some nice shimmers in here. I feel like you will need to wet the brush though to get that pigment. And as for the Berry Meringue, really like this. I like that the palette has got a lot of depth in here. It's not just all light pinks. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a little get ready with me. Um, I didn't really have a plan of what kind of look to do. Um, I just went with it. And yeah, I quite like it. I'm gonna leave this on all day and I'm gonna appreciate it. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. If you did enjoy it, please, Smash it a big thumbs up, it sure helps my channel out. And of course, if you don't want to miss out on the next one, hit subscribe button down below. But yeah, other than that, hope you have a lovely day. Now, time for watching this, and I shall see you next one.